at this point here I'm defining some values that be <clears throat> to um, some parameters that will be used to calculate the MFCC so if you're not familiar with the male frequency capture coefficients I recommend you to uh, have a look at Wikipedia and also to uh, take a look at the uh, music um, musical instruments uh, no uh, musical information retrieval.com from uh, the Karma and the University of Stanford and they um, they have a very nice uh, tutorial with examples and um, in very very general terms uh, you calculate the MFCC uh, taking the Fourier transform then you map the values to the um, male frequency take the log then you take the DCT and uh, you end up with the MFCC uh, one way uh, to calculate it but you can have more information on the uh, music information retrieval.com at Wikipedia so uh, Librosa has a function to uh, calculate the uh, MFCC and I'm constructing I'm building here a function that's called get features because uh, yeah you, you can change instead of MFCC you can put other things inside here you can also include uh, you take uh, MFCC and then you take deltas and uh, so uh, yeah you can use this to uh, to get the features from uh, your audio files so this is what I'm doing in this function here the next step is I will go through the files so I will load each file using Librosa I'm normalizing it so all the files have the same uh, level and then I am calculate I'm getting the feature so I'm calculating the MFCC and generating a, a, a vector uh, doing at this part here so it will go one by one and it will uh, load the file and calculate the MFCC so it goes 600 files and we can see here these are the file names and before so we used here trumpet which is part of the name to get our labels so at this moment we have a vector of uh, audio features from each file and we also have a vector of uh, the labels then we are doing uh, we're it's a uh, common practice to uh, do this standardization so uh, we're using a, um, a tool from uh, scikit-learn which is the standard scalar and we are making the vectors to have uh, zero mean and unit variance so this is what I'm doing at this part here so we have uh, feature vectors so 600 and each uh, each uh, file has 13 values which we define 13 male frequency capsule coefficients so um, 13 coefficients 600 different sound samples with this we can now separate our data set to a train and a test set and we can do this also using uh, the um, stratified shuffle uh, split from uh, scikit-learn so that's what I'm doing here so I'm the result of this will be that we will have 450 samples for the train and 150 for the test so the algorithm will not see the test sound samples it will be trained using the train set and then we will evaluate and we will pre predict and evaluate using the test set so uh, here is just an information is always good to keep an eye on the dimensions of your vectors of the shapes of your vectors so we have uh, with this function here we get a test uh, audio feature vectors a test label vector a train uh, with the features and a train set with the labels then we will use the k nearest neighbor algorithm so you can uh, have a look what it's doing but uh, in this uh, feature space 
it will um, define uh, classify by giving value from a neighbor so you can uh, set par parameters that will it will do a majority vote on different neighbors and it will assign a value to uh, the point or in my in this case to keep things to keep things simple i'm using just a value of one so it's k is equal one and it will assign a value from the nearest neighbor in this feature uh, space